specialist Bonnie Dunbar, Michael Anderson, Salazan Sharpov, James Riley, and Andy Thomas. Question here. I Actually, I would like to just add a comment uh, about the ground support team. <coughs> One of the throughout the course of the phase one program we've learned you know the mechanics of how you service and operate a space station how you arrange and, and load a vehicle launch it rendezvous dock with the space station transfer goods transfer crews um, and all those sort of mechanics of day-to-day -day operation which we wouldn't have otherwise we've also learned it shouldn't be underestimated how to work collaboratively with the Russians because we have different cultures different languages and that itself is a big accomplishment. It's an impressive sight, actually. It's, it's just amazing. It's been described as a big uh, mosquito or dragonfly, and it's right. It's got all kinds of wings on it. It's an incredible sight. It is, however, very important, I think, that we look at what we do in this cooperative program objectively, and we don't judge the cooperation we have with the Russians based on the prejudices of the Cold War era, which many of us grew up in. We must judge it on its own merits and by the standards of today. <laughs> There's no credible plan at this time for another shuttle visit to the Mir. Uh, it's not to say that an emergency situation might not cause us to want to do that, but fundamentally from the point of view of what we could contribute to a deorbit scenario, there's not a whole lot to offer.